Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back again today with part 7 of our Life is Strange walkthrough. i um, just going to start the episode off by saying um, thank you for all the support recently on the channel and I hope you are enjoying the walkthrough videos. Um, if you haven't seen the previous episode make sure to check it out. Um, there is a series playlist on the channel. Um, but guys we're just going to jump straight into this. Um, like I say, I have literally just finished uh, finished recording, wow my words are stuck, um, the previous episode. Um, so we had quite a long chat with Kate about um, basically going to the police because she got drugged, definitely, um, by Nathan. And uh, like I've said before, I'm kind of making the decisions based on like what I would do. So we're going we're gonna to stick with it. We're late. 40 minutes. Wow. They are so cool. Let's go. I think we're going to go to the uh, the diner here. Is it the two whale diner or something? Maybe not just yet. Oh, look, it's the creepy man, Samuel. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. Oh, he's such I a do creep. Love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Um... Let's I just don't leave. want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Uh, he is a full-on creep. Like everyone cool that we've met in game so far has been called like Ethan. Um, oh God. Uh, get in the bin. Um, yeah, and then we meet uh, Sam, or Samuel, yeah, and he's a creep. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question. Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Um. Nah, we like Warren. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. Oh, I think I've just remembered what happens. I think we like double book or something. And we need to choose who we go with. I think. Let's go meet Chloe. Let's have some brekkie. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. God, I hate getting the bus.
Lord's mark. I wouldn't dream of it. Let's get it. Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. What up? Time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Have we just mugged her off? Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. That's not now. Well, good Cost luck. of living crisis. Thanks, I sure need it. That was a random conversation. There's a fish man. Oh my god, Chloe, go away. I'm sure they said 40 minutes like an hour ago. Yeah, 40 minutes at 7.38. And then at 8.39 she's late. Oh my god, there's a man with a dog. Oh, stop that. Stop. No barking. I'm sure he's in it later on. There, there's that dirty RV from the other day. Let's chat to this guy. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. I'll chat Good to morning. you, mate. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. He's kind of creepy looking. By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Sounds about right. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. Uh, I like this I'd guy. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. He's a cool guy. Let's go. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Dude. <laughs> You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Lovely. Gross. Literally. Got a chance to uh, take a snap. Love a little selfie. Thank you, redneck poet. Um, we can speak to all of these guys. Or we can just sit. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Looks fun. Uh, guitar. I do like a bit of guitar.
Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I like Joyce. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Little dig. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. I think she understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Savage. We already established that David hit her. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. We literally and just had this conversation. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. Not he an does excuse. Care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Yeah, no excuse to That's hit. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess. I guess it's all about. I feel bad for it. Joyce, but he's I doof. think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Are we gonna get a choice? Oh, what a choice! Uh, I think if it was me for breakfast, I'd genuinely go for a bacon omelette. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. I did say waffles when we were on the bus, though. Coffee and a bacon omelette. Yum, yum. One bacon omelette for the young ladies. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Cost of living. Yeah. Bacon at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Let's drink some coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. Drink my coffee. Order ready. This is like fourth dimensional. Can I have my food now? Incoming. Give me the food. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. This is genuinely making me hungry. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. Wow, Joyce actually wants devil. me as her daughter. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. 
Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> you guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. All right. This is all happening so Come fast. Come at me. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Keys. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Let me go back. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, God. Uh, it could be any of them. A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, wow. psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my... What was it? Okay, Max. Study Panda. every item carefully and don't forget Bags. anything. Coins. She better not ask me how much. Parking ticket, 921. Franklin Street. Ugh. T-W-M-P-K-S. This is going to be hard. This is me. Let's try okay, again. Max. Uh, parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was? Nine twenty-one. Fuck! It's not even on there. Oh God. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Great saying that. Uh, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too- Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Uh, cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much I do I have? I knew it was going to say that. 86. 86 cents. That's right. Living large I actually did know that bank. one. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. How's she Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Right, guys, I've uh, just noticed how long this episode's been going on for, so um, sorry.
sorry for the sort of random cut in the middle of a scene, um, but I don't want it to go on for too much longer. Um, I should have stopped before we started fucking about with what was in her pockets. Um, but anyway, guys, I am going to leave this episode here. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.